Hi everyone, it's Amber from the Sensible. Hi everyone, it's Amber from the Sensible Mama, and t this bag that is sitting beside me. I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at the bag. I'm laughing at this intro. <laughs> Gonna try it again. Hey everyone, it's Amber from the Sensible Mama, and today I'm going to be doing a review for you of the biggest diaper bag I think I have ever reviewed on my channel. Are you Are you ready? <laughs> Why does it not look very big? Okay, there, see, there we go. This is the Petunia Pickle Bottom Cinch Convertible back <laughs> Backpack. It has been a while since I've hit myself in the face uh, with a bag here on my channel. Um, this bag is absolutely enormous. And even if you can't tell how enormous it is right now, um, when I show you what all is in here, you're gonna see what I mean. What I think is kind of cool about this bag is that it is, it's enormous. Um, it's definitely the overpacker's delight here. It's still pretty lightweight, even when fully packed, which is something that I know a lot of people will appreciate. And I just, this, I, I said this to uh, one of my employees this morning. This feels like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this down. It does get heavy after a minute. This feels like the kind of bag that a lot of people have asked me to create for Limea brand. And the reason why I haven't is, and I'll get into this in a minute. When you try to make a really deep tote bag, into a backpack style. Functionally, it works really great. Stylistically and like aesthetically, I guess, there are some problems that come into play. And so I've never wanted to do it for Limea brand. I do have plans for a tote to do in the future, but it's not gonna be backpack style. And the reason why is I don't like the way that often these bags look once you take the tote and you turn it into a backpack. However, I am a brand that is going a lot for the aesthetic. I want it to have a certain look and to also be obviously very functional, but brands like Petunia Picklebottom who are focused on like, hey, what do you need? We're just gonna make it function the way you need it to function. That's what Petunia Picklebottom did. So this bag does go backpack style. As you can see here, it's they're calling it a convertible and the reason why is because you can use this as a over the shoulder or crook of the elbow strap. And then when you want to make this into a backpack, you're able to just pull these straps out, um, which is great for those who need that functionality. I'm gonna go into kind of the pros and cons of that as we do this video. But the other cool things about this bag is that it does have a trolley sleeve back here. Um, this little strap here allows you to put this over your handle of your rollerboard luggage, which is always a nice plus. And although I'm not totally sure, um, I guess you would really only need this when you don't have the bag packed as full as I have it packed right now. It cinches here as well if you need to draw it in to keep it a little bit tighter. Overall, it's a beautiful bag, but as you can see here, when you pack it really full, it does start to distort a little bit. But this video is not going to be about aesthetics. This video is going to be showing you how this packs up. If you are an overpacker looking for a bag that will let you put like just a monstrous amount of things inside of it, you might really like this bag regardless of how it closes up or how it wears on the body. You just need it to function the way you need it to function. And honestly, <laughs> as I've been packing this bag up today, showing it to the girls in the warehouse and even showing it to Tabitha who's in Ohio, but I've just been videotaping it while I've been packing it up. We've all really loved the way it packs. So today we're gonna get into all of that, but first, quick word from our sponsor, which is my business, thesensiblemama.com. The Sensible Mama is an online baby boutique for babies, toddlers, big kids, and moms. Our warehouse is located in Atlanta, Georgia, and we are mama-owned and mama-operated. Our website, thesensiblemama.com, is a place where you can find all of the best-known names in the industry researched by us. We are also the home of Limea Brand, which is a high-end line of diaper bags, sunglasses, and accessories designed by me with busy moms on the go in mind. While you're there, make sure you sign up for our Sensible Reward Program or apply for the affiliate program to start earning money either through cash back in the store or directly deposited to your bank account. Lastly, make sure you're following The Sensible Mama on Instagram to be ahead of the game for all store news and product launches. And with that said, let's get right back into today's content. Thank you so much for taking time to listen to that. I know if you watch every one of my videos, maybe you get tired of seeing that, um, but it is really important to me that people understand that this is my business, this is my livelihood, and this YouTube channel is an extension of that business to show you 
how to use the products that you already have or that you may be interested in purchasing in a way that is smarter, more economical, and more sensible. Everything I'm going to be showing you in this bag today, including the bag itself, are available at thesensiblemama.com and I'm gonna have shopping links all down in the description box. So let's get right into it. One of the first things that I wanna show you, which I, I'm gonna just say is probably the only con, like the only downside that I see about this bag, because you're gonna see how beautifully it packs in a minute, is that I am not so sure how I feel about the convertible strap situation. I've loosened this up to go to kind of where I'm gonna need it as a backpack. And if you've not seen this style of convertible before, here's how this works. You have backpack straps that come across the back right here and then a grab handle so that you could use this to pick it up just by the grab handle. When you don't have the backpack on though, and you pull this grab handle, this comes up and it actually tightens those straps in like this. Now, what's really great about this is that that allows you to wear this over the shoulder. Uh, <laughs> but as you can see, this is, this is quite large over the shoulder. Just to give you a little example, let me grab this Sophie. This is the Lamia brand nylon Sophie over the shoulder. Of course, if you were wearing this one over the shoulder, you would probably tuck your backpack straps in to the back pocket like this so they're not dangling down. So here's the nylon Sophie on the body over the shoulder. And here is the Petunia Pickle Bottom crossbody. So we're looking at a really, really big bag here. <laughs> um, but that's how it goes over the shoulder. Now, when you convert it to backpack style, you just pull these straps out like this. Okay, and this is the part that I would consider to be a con. Now, before I get to that, if you've used a bag like the Itsy Ritzy Convertible Tote, you've probably noticed how it's a little messy going from backpack style to over the shoulder style. The straps kind of like move around on you and it gets kind of, things don't work out great. This actually really does. Um, because of the way that this handle is designed, when you pull the backpack straps, it just really nicely pulls that grab handle down close to the bag without messing up the backpack strap. And I feel like this is really hard to describe unless you've used the Itsy Ritzy Convertible and know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but this just actually really kind of fixes that problem. It's not messy going from backpack to over the shoulder. And I think that's really important. Here's the downside for me. I just don't think that this is a nice look on the body. And the other thing about it is that because it zips up with one small zipper at the top, it does really like suck the top of the backpack in, which begins to interfere with its packability. Um, when you're trying to pack that top space in the bag, you lose a lot of space when you're zipping it up. We're gonna get to, into all that later. As for the appearance though, I just, I don't know. It's just real big, as you can see. Here's a look at the back. Now, obviously if you pack this bag up, not as full as I have it packed, it's not going to look this bulky. But again, if you're buying this bag, it is probably because you're looking for a bag that will hold a lot. So I think it's important that you see what this looks like fully packed up. So there it is. Now, it's still nice and lightweight. And again, so you can see how easily this goes from backpack to over the shoulder. I think that is just awesome. So this will be the last look I'm gonna give it on the body. So take a look and we're gonna then get into how I have it packed today. All right, so first let's get into this front pocket. You have a nice little, as Jujubee would call it, mommy pocket here on the front. In here, I just have the two, oh, first of all, let me go ahead and say, I have this packed for uh, moms who are kind of needing to pack for both themselves, maybe for work or for, um, if you're doing freelance and things like that, you need to have your computer with you, uh, and also are doing things with the babies. And I really think this is what this bag is great for because of its height and its depth. You're able to get things like an iPad in here, all the things that you might need as mom, uh, while also keeping a good amount of things for your kiddos. So in here again, this is just my little space for the two things that I'm always grabbing for. One of them is my wallet. This is the Limea brand Gabby wallet in On Point. And over here, I have got the case of my Limea brand sunglasses with the included um, pouch looped through there. And then I've got my sunglasses inside so that this way um, I can just, as I get in and out of my bag to get my sunglasses, I can just pop them in and out right there and they're nice and safe and free from being crushed or anything while they're in my bag. Now, obviously um, 
the way that I pack that up is with two quite large items. But as you can see here, this is a nice, really big roomy front pocket. So if you're just looking to like throw all of your odds and ends in there, things that you're grabbing for a lot, you have a lot of space to work with. Now up here, you also have a big long zipper pocket. Um, because I have this bag packed so full, there really wasn't a lot of like wide items that I could fit in here. I definitely have a ton more room, but again, I try, I try to pack realistically, right? So what I have in here is just um, reusable Go Silly straws, one for me and for each of my kids. I say this in all my videos, but it just never fails that like if we stop and get fast food or something on the way home, or my kids want like a bottle of water or something from a gas station, uh, we don't end up getting a straw. <laughs> so I just like having those. And especially during COVID, it's just nice to have our own little straws that have not been touched. I love that this bag has got a key ring here on the front so I can just attach my keys if I want to and get to those really quickly. You could also attach like a little Limey brand coin purse if you wanted to just keep extra little odds and ends right outside of the bag. And this would also be a great place to keep things like, um, this is the Bling Sting pepper spray that we carry in the store in all kinds of colors, just to have that accessible. Of course, if you have your kids with you, be very careful, use your own discretion here. Uh, but I think particularly if you're out on your own and you wanna feel a little bit safer, that's a great thing to have right there. And it's so accessible with this little key ring. Okay, now this is kind of what I was mentioning um, in the beginning of the video. I wish that this bag had like gussets over here or something so that you didn't actually have to squeeze the bag back together to get it zipped at the top. As you can see, it zips great. It zips totally fine. It's not like it's a major problem, but you do, as I said, lose a lot of space in the top because what, watch this. Do you see how stinking big this bag opens? It's incredible. Like, hang on. When you view this from the top, it's just like, it could not be more impressive in terms of what it looks like when it's wide open. To me, it looks actually a lot like the Charlie. Okay, so let's get into everything that I have in here. And I'm sorry again that this isn't a great angle. I'm working with the best I've got here. Okay, so here is how the inside of the bag is packed up. Sitting right on the top, I have the Limea brand Trifecta in the color Boss Up. And this is what I have packed for diapering needs. So in here, I have got the change pad that comes included with the Petunia Pickle Bottom bag. Um, I like that this folds over so slimline, but it's still a nice big change pad, as you can see there. Then I have got two size six diapers, a wet bag, and some wipes. Now, if you're already familiar with this bag, you already know that it does come with its own um, wipes case as seen right here, but I'm gonna show you that I did something kind of different with that. And right now I'm just using the Itsy Ritzy wipes case. I love using um, the trifecta for diapers and wipes because especially with these two little pockets over here, if you've got things like um, little baggies to dispose of poopy diapers, or if you have ointment and things like that, you can stick those right here. And those are not gonna get lost down in the bottom of the pouch. Here's what was kind of beneath that. Um, right over here to the side, I have my Brewmate Fifth. Look at how pretty this looks together. Isn't that gorgeous? So this full thing fits in there and it doesn't even reach the top. Just to give you an idea of height, it's, yeah, this is a big bag. I know that that's coming together for you now. Next to that, I have got a set of Welly bandages. This is in the ice cream print. And then I have one of my favorite things by Welly. I just never leave the house without this when I've got my kids. This is the kids medical travel kit. This has got little chewable tablets for stomach soothing, pain and fever relief and allergy. And on the inside of the container here, you have got um, all the dosing information and everything like that. These have been a lifesaver for me and we did just restock these at the store. So those are now back in stock, which is wonderful. This I think is gonna blow your mind. Um, I also have in here the Petunia Pickle Bottom Pixel Plus. And this I just have packed for eating and drinking and things. I've got a couple of little snacks down in here, um, drinks for my kids and for me. Just quick grab stuff so that if we get hungry on the go, we can grab that. And because this is insulated, it's gonna keep any cold snacks staying nice and cold and safe to eat. Next, this is where I think this really, really comes in handy. This bag holds the 12.9 inch iPad portfolio. So this is where I have got my iPad. Well, I'll just show you. So in here, I have just got all the things that I would be needing for work. I have successfully um, transferred all of my work stuff over 
to my iPad. So I'm using that basically as a as my full-time computer. This is such a terrible <laughs> angle to do this at, but here we go. So over here, I have got my iPad 12.9 inch. This is the iPad Pro. Um, over here, I have got my keyboard. I've got that sitting in the center because usually I will put that over in this flap here, but I'll show you what I have there in a minute. Um, here I have my Apple Pencil. This pocket right here is where I would be keeping my iPhone if I'm using this for work. And then back here, I just have the protective sleeve that I put over my iPad when I'm using it without the keyboard. So I'm able to get to that kind of quickly. And since this all fits so nicely inside of this bag, I'm able to pack for baby and for work all at the same time. Okay, so what I love about this bag is it just, it keeps getting cooler and cooler. So one of the first things I wanna show you is that there are two elastic slip pockets here and here. And um, in this first one, this is the wipes case that comes with the Petunia Pickle Bottom bag. But since I was using my Itsy Ritzy wipes case for that, I went ahead and in sort of keeping this on theme with uh, being a work and baby bag, what I've got in here are Uli glitter gel pens and highlighters. These are for me to use or my toddlers could use them if they want. And I just think this is a really, really great way to keep those. This is the full set of the Uli glitter gel pens and the full set of the highlighters. And they all fit in there really nicely. Keeps them nice and safe. And of course, it just fits great right inside that pocket. In the next pocket, and what I think is super cool, is that the medium piece of the Limea brand trifecta fits perfectly in that little pocket. This I have packed as a medical kit for myself. So in here, I have got the DM merchandising pill case where I keep my daily pills that I take every day. And then over here, this is another Welly kit that we've just restocked. This is the adult version of the kid medicine kit. But this has just got things for grownups. So in here, we have an anti-diarrheal, gas relief, sleep aid, motion sickness, and um, the pain and fever reducer here. They've changed this up actually. It used to be two of each of these, but I'm really glad that they did this. Now you have the actual little tin of pain and fever reducer here, which I just think is awesome. Um, it's just such a great deal and such a great thing to always have in your bag because you never know when you, when you may need any one of these things. <laughs> so I keep those in there as well. Now on to the last portion of the bag, you have a separate little compartment over here. They call this their tech sleeve, but since I was using the Limea brand portfolio, what I have back here is some stuff for my kiddos. I have got the Uli sketch notebook. These two little Uli kits, I'm taking these home to my kids today, which is why they still have the tags on them. These are just little travel kits. Uh, this one is super kids and pets, and it's an activity book with stickers and two little crayon pencils that look like this. Each one of these things is a different color. And then this one is dinosaurs in space. And it's the same thing, an activity book with different color crayons, just great for on the go. And you can kind of nicely put everything back into its own container when you're done. And uh, the last thing in here is just the Jack Jack Bird markers. I like these because you can use this on any surface, whether that's paper or chalkboard material, if you have something like that. Um, they're just beautiful, highly pigmented markers. And I like that, I just happen to like the package that they come in. You can nicely put all the markers back in. It just works great for us. So here is a final peek into the bag. All that space that you have in there. Overall, I just think it's a really fantastic bag if you're an overpacker. If you're someone who packs less, I think that you might find this bag very overwhelming. You might easily lose things in here, but I think you probably would have already clicked out of this video <laughs> if you weren't an overpacker. So for the overpackers, I think this is just such a great option, especially if you're packing for work and for yourself. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. I usually film the outro of these videos at the beginning. Um, so now <laughs> I'm looking at a really big mess to clean up. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Once again, if you saw anything in the video from the bag to all the things that you saw inside of it, those are all linked with shopping links down in the description box below. Let me know what you think of this bag. This is a brand new one for us at the store, so I'm very interested to see what you guys think about it. Love ya, mean it always, Mwah! and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.